flywheels are large, massive wheels used to store energy. They can be spun up slowly, then the wheel's energy can be released quickly to accomplish a task that demands high power. An industrial flywheel has a 1.5 meters diameter and a mass of 250 kilograms. Its maximum angular velocity is 1,200 revolutions per minute. A motor spin up the flywheel with a constant torque of 50 newtons meter. How long does it take the flywheel to reach the top speed? Express your answer in seconds. So from this question, we are searching for the time it takes this wheel to get to the maximum angular velocity, 1,200 revolutions per minute. As we can see, the diameter is 1.5 meters and the radius is 0.75 meters. The mass is 250 kilograms and the maximum angular velocity is 1,200 revolutions per minute. We want to know the time that it takes for this flywheel to get to this angular velocity if there is a constant torque of 50 newton meters. First, I'm going to convert the angular velocity. One revolution is 2 pi radians and one minute is 60 seconds. As we can see, revolutions cancel out with revolutions and minutes cancel out with minutes. We get that angular velocity is 40 pi radians per second or 125.66 radians per second. Now let's move the information to the top of the page. We know that there is a constant torque of 50 newtons meter applied to this wheel. So this torque is constantly changing the angular velocity of this wheel. We know that torque is I times alpha. I is the moment of inertia of the wheel and alpha is the angular acceleration of the wheel. The moment of inertia for a wheel is the mass of the wheel multiplied by the radius square of the wheel divided by 2. From the information given, the mass is 250 kilograms, the radius is 0.75 meters, we square that and divide by 2. Remember that we need to use meters and kilograms and seconds because we are using the international system of units. After computing these values, we get that the moment of inertia for this wheel is 70.313 kilograms meter square. Now we can plug in in the equation. 50 newtons meters is equal to 70.313 kilograms meter square. And from this, we can solve for the angular acceleration that's alpha. Alpha is 0.711 radians per second square. This is our angular acceleration. We know from the rotational kinematic equations that omega final is equal to omega initial plus alpha t. Omega final is the maximum angular velocity that we are aiming for. Omega initial is zero if we assume that the wheel was at rest. Alpha is the angular acceleration that we just found and we can find t. So 40 pi radians per second is equal to 0 0.711 times t. We divide and we get that 176.7 seconds is equal to t. We can round up to 177 seconds. This means that if a constant net torque of 50 newtons meters is applied to that wheel, it will take about 177 seconds to achieve the maximum angular velocity, 1200 revolutions per minute. The answer was given as 180 seconds because of the number of significant figures that were asked, but we know that 177 seconds is more precise. Remember to double check the number of significant figures that they require. Okay guys, I hope that this video was useful. Remember to like, to hit the subscribe button, share it with your friends, your geek friends, your girlfriend, and keep it going guys. I'll see you in the next video.